Hi guys, so today I'm going to be showing you how to make this adorable initial Christmas ornament. It's a great gift for your friends and family, so if you like it, don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment below. Alright, so to get started, you're going to open up Design Space and click Shapes, and you're going to click the circle. I'm going to make mine a 4x4, four four, so you're going to go and change that size right there. Alright, so now we want to make that outer part that cuts. So you're going to click shapes and click circle again. And I'm going to make mine about 3.2. And then just kind of eyeball it and center it. So now we're going to want to cut it. So now we're going to drag and select all. And it's super important to click the slice tool right here. So now that it's sliced, you're going to drag the circle, delete drag again, delete. And so now you see that we have this open space. So now to make the top where the ribbon goes, you're going to click shapes again, click the circle, and I'm just going to eyeball it here to the top. And now this is super important. So to attach it all together, we're going to highlight it all again. And we're going to click weld. So now you can see it's one shape. So now we need to make that inner circle. So we're going to click circle again, and I'm going to eyeball it once again to make it a little bit smaller, drag it on top, and then we're going to highlight everything. And now we're going to click the slice tool. So once again, this cuts it out, and you're going to take it, delete, take it, delete. Perfect, so now we have the outer frame for our ornament. Okay, so now we're gonna add your initial. This honestly takes me the longest because I can never choose what font I want. So for this one, I'm gonna be using the font called Watermelon. So I'm gonna go to the top and search it. And now I have this beautiful S. So now we're gonna wanna enlarge it. And this is super important. When you're dragging it to the top, you wanna make sure that these sides touch. So I'm just gonna shape it to how I like it. And so now that you see that they're touching, you're gonna go ahead and drag and select all again and go down and click the weld tool. So now this makes it one full piece and now we have our finished ornament. All right, so now we're gonna go and click make it. So now you're going to want to make sure that your ornament is at the very top so you don't waste any of your wood. Okay, so now you're going to set your material. I personally have mine in favorites, but if you don't, you can click browse all materials. So now it's going to tell you to move all the star wheels all the way to the right. This is super important because you don't want these stars to show up on your wood. So now you're going to load your knife blade into clamp B. So now you're going to want to get out your strong grip mat and then your wood. I personally like to use the Cricut base wood because I know it's compatible with my machine. So you're going to take your wood and place it so it matches the corners of your sheet and you're going to take your masking tape and you're going to tape it on all four sides. This is super important because you don't want your mat to move while it's cutting. Perfect, so now once that's done, you're gonna load in your mat. Click that button there. So it's gonna take a couple seconds to load and it's gonna make sure that you have that knife blade loaded. And then you're gonna click the C to get it started. So if you go back to design space, it's gonna show you how many cuts it's gonna do and how long it's gonna take. So this is what it's going to look like when it's almost done cutting. So once it's done, you're going to unload your mat and you're going to want to take off the wood from the back and then the ornament should just pop right off. So now all you have left to do is paint. I'm using an acrylic holiday red and then I use some ribbon and now you're done. I hope you enjoyed my tutorial. We'll see you guys soon.